I'm Ivana de Vivanco and I'm an artist from Chile and Peru and uh, I'm based in Germany and I have been invited to exhibit my work here in Miami at Bridge Gallery and I'm excited to be presenting the show Splits and Sleeps the Disobedient Banana. Um, during the last year I have been working and studying the history of this paradoxical fruit, the banana, in the Caribbean and in, well, Central America. And it's a story full of violence and full of pain and very difficult to represent. I mean, impossible to represent, really. And I have been working, having the whole time these two concepts um, present, very present. The concept of split and the concept of sleep, which one connects immediately with um, for example, pop culture, you know, with these characters like falling because there's, um, you know, a banana peel on the floor. But there's also, you know, this very common dessert of the banana being like this banana split. The dessert has something that connects very well with this idea of the split society of slavery of, um, you know, some part of the society getting a big piece of ice cream and with cherries on the top and all what you can imagine and other part of the society being like very far away from that. So that, that sleep, and it's, that's that split concept was very present and maybe that the concept of the sleep is more connected with something you t like more, a more utopian utiop utiop dimension where we could have a society which is fragmented, but at the same time, the society could sleep any time and, and we could have something much better. We definitely need to dream about something different. You know, there are certain topics that are very like, impossible to represent. And the way in which I approach these motifs is thinking of the, of the scene as a theatrical mise-en-scene, you know, you have these characters on the stage and I, I take these episodes from history and I say, okay, I surrender. I, of course, I'm not going to be able to represent this, but I would try to imagine that there's a group of um, amateur theater, you know, and they are playing, or maybe it's a representation in school, so you have this scene with these people wearing costumes and representing difficult chapters of history. So this idea of the stage and gives me some distance and maybe the possibility of some irony that comes in. And I feel that I, that through this mechanism, I can approach very difficult topics. My paintings are, of course, highly contemporary. I am a contemporary artist, I'm living in this world. But the interesting thing is that the more I go backwards in history, the more contemporary I think I am. Um, because there's so much to learn about the structures of this world in the past. So I have been really studying the last 500 years of history and trying to translate that into painting and, of course, other art schools like the, you know, the Baroque art school in Latin America, they, they definitely have impacted me and, and touched me so deeply. So that's also there in the works. Art is a form of protest. And you have that very present in the exhibition also with, with this piece, which is holding this kind of protesting painting. And um, yeah. I just hope that art can help helps us visualizing some things that are wrong and um, help us trying to reread history and understand things differently and yeah. <laughs>